What's up, Flushy fans and Flush Force freaks? I'm Toy Insanity. This is Flush Force Friday. Thank you for clicking this video. We're going to be looking at all 144 in the base set of Series 1 Flushies, as well as four of the six limited edition putrid parts the unflushable translucent figures series one here we go i got them in these four cases and we of course start with the squirm and vermin these are your bugs all right we got two flies they are named farty mcfly in gray and fly squatter in blue two Roaches, Roach Coach in green, and Thug Bug in brown. Two, uh, I was going to say they're pill bugs, you know, roly polies, but they call one a dung beetle. Literally, that is his name. This is Dung Beetle, and this is Roly Moldy. I like to call these ants. The guy in red is named Dung Digger. And this guy's called Turd Mite. This is my least favorite sculpt of the Squirm and Vermin because of that broken antenna, which is part of the mold. So it's not like you just got one in a package that was broken. It's not like you broke it yourself. That is the design. And I think that's a bad way to design a figure intentionally already broken. Super weird. We got two spiders, knob web in blue, and a rechnoid in black. Finally, rounding out all the squirm and vermin. Monstrous maggot in yellow and grody grubs blue and brown all right that was a squirm and vermin six mold 12 figures now we move to the gruesome twosome here are your doggos all the gruesome twosome are two-headed figures and they are a harder plastic a lot of the flush force have this plastic this is a great does have a little bit of flexibility to it, but this is a great type of plastic for collectible figures. The little gimmick on the Squirm and Vermin is that they are much squishier plastic. All right, two doggos. Dispair. Dispair doggos and Labra Dump. Very cool. Two headed sharks. Juicy Jaws in blue and Twin Grin in gray. These are two-headed turtles. Vile Reptile is gray, and Double Snap is green. Two-headed slugs. Ugly Sluggies in pink, and Slippy Drippies in blue. There's one head, one face, there's the other face. We've got a two-headed burb. Turd bird. In purple. And his brother Beak Freak. In red. Two-headed kitties. Kitty Kitty. Is magenta. And 18 lives. I see what you did there. Is black. Two-headed snacks, reptile, come on now, reptile pile is purple, and vermin twin is green. All right, we now move into the scuzzy fuzzies. One thing I don't really like about this series is some squads, some factions have six, some have seven, 
Some have eight. I wish they had, had picked a consistent number for each for maximum display and storage opportunities. But here we go. The SCSI fuzzies, they are the same plastic as the gruesome twosome, but they have flocking. They have this fuzzy lint glued on the outside of them. And as you know, if you play with flocked figures, that stuff comes off. And in fact, if you follow the 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 the, uh, the gimmick, the directions of the series, and put water in those little toilets, that will also degrade the flocking on the scuzzy fuzzies. But here we have Fever Beaver in brown and terrible timber in orange. These are six armed beavers or six limbed beavers sitting on their own tails. All right, this pairing, this mold, we have Hurl Squirrel in gray, and his partner is Funky Skunky. So we've got a squirrel and a skunk using the same mold. These are three-eyed raccoons, Rubbish Raccoon in green, and Foul Growl in gray. Mutant Raccoons, three eyes each. These are some cats, litter, omitter, maybe like a litter box, or just, I guess it's using this the word the same way anyway, litter, like when you pick up trash outside. Litter, omitter is the orange one, and caddy swampus is the blackish gray one with pink hair. Very cool. All of the scuzzy fuzzies are mammals. So here we have Bat Big Crazy in purple. They're meant to display with their head down. And Night Terror in gray. There you go. There you have it. Now we got, who are these guys? Scab Rat. Oh, like Pinky in the Brain. He's the uh, white and pink one. And then Raunchy rodent is this yellowish dingy looking rat a couple rats there and then we have a couple possums rounding out the scuzzy fuzzies i wish they had made one of the pupils a different color these are the most similar of all the figures so the guy with yellow eyes green pupils that's awesome possum and the guy with white eyes green pupils. They didn't change the pupils or the mouths on these. And the fur is really similar color. But this guy here is Opossum. Now the tails are a little bit different. So Awesome Possum has an orange tail and Opossum has a red tail. That's all the scuzzy fuzzies. Onward, forward. We start the next box with the grimy grubs couple of bananas here. The ripe yellow banana is banana slips and the green and brown banana is splits with a Z. Now the extra little feature or gimmick on the grimy grubs, they do have a, a nice plastic, not too squishy, but it's this extra colored feature which apparently shows up best in cold environments because they are really popping here but if you got these guys warm this extra green wouldn't be showing up in this case it's a little bit of blue color changing paint apps all right so rotten core is in red and crabby apple is in green these two are both relatively rare and here we got brock solid some uh, disgusting broccoli and mean steamed, probably some cauliflower. Very creepy characters there. Scary Cherry is blue and Cherry Bombs with a Z is red. Got a couple more berries. Crawlberry is your mutant cycloptic strawberry and Scary Berry you might call a blueberry. Very cool. 
And the last of the grimy grubs, water smelling is pink. And water felon is orange. Must be cantaloupe and watermelon. More one eyed figures. Now we move into the dump divers. And they have that really nice plastic. First up is a slug using a soda can to create a snail shell. Very weird. Sloppy slug is green. Salty slug is purple. A couple boxes of tissues. Hot snot is blue. Tissue issue is pink. Now these are some more one-eyed creatures inhabiting like some cardboard boxes. So the guy with red feet is called pack aged and the guy with green feet is called gross lactose. These are more one-eyed creatures living in lunch bags. You can see it says lunch. These two guys are brown bagging it. The guy with black feet is called barf bag and the guy with purple feet is called scum bag. Barf bag and scum bag. Now we got a couple milk cartons. Curdy is your regular whole milk. And dairy, scary, is your chocolate milk. More one eyed critters and creatures. Look at that. Look at those dudes. All right, finally, we got two jelly jars being possessed by some kind of maybe like an octopus. So that grape jelly is smelly jelly. And that strawberry jam is PB and smelly. Very cool. That's all the dump divers. Now let's check out some mean munchies. They are a squishier plastic, but not as squishy as the squirm and vermin. All right. The guy with the green teeth and the red in his eyes is Sloppy Joe. And his brother is Bile Burger. Very cool. This is Hot Clog with the black in his eyes and Brat Worst with the red eyes. South of the border, we got a couple of tacos. Macho Taco is yellow and Crunch Supreme is green. Now these are really cool. I like I like this sculpt a lot because even among uh, Trash Pack, Grocery Gang, and the Zuru Smashers, they all did some kind of pizza. I don't think anyone has ever conceived of a pizza creature with the pizza coiling up and making a sort of scorpion out of the pizza slice. That's a really cool idea. Pukey Pie in blue, and his brother is Pooperoni. A couple of awesome sculpts there. This might be my least favorite sculpt in the whole series. It's just a big old turkey leg, chicken leg, poultry leg. Dump stick is orange. And drum sick is green. Now we got a couple of sweets. Chocolate chunk has the yellow and green eyes. And cookie crumbles with a z is this dude all right now there's six figures six sculpts in the entire series that have three variants three versions three variations each and it's very odd it's very weird i i kind of don't like this about the series but I think, honestly, what they did, you know how with the putrid parts, there's only six sculpts and only one each? I think they really wanted to hit that 150 number. 150 total figures in the series, counting those putrid parts. But at the last minute, they probably were like, let's not do two of each of the putrid 
parts, sculpts. Instead, let's just do three of each of the six other sculpts. The reason I really don't like that idea is because it makes everything else feel incomplete. If you were to create a display on a nice cool shelf or something, you know what I mean? It's like, well, you got three of that guy. How come you didn't get three of that guy? Where's the third one of that guy? How come there's not a third one of that guy? Where? How come you never finished getting those three? But anyway, here are the three ice cream guys. This guy is called Krusty Cone. Big ol' eyeballs in an ice cream cone. This is Scary Dairy. Now remember, this guy was called Dairy Scary. So they just swapped the two words around. And the third guy is called Moo Juice. Very weird. Very gross. We got three donuts. Alright, the pink one is named Crumb Bum. This chocolate donut is called Mr. Sprinkles. And this weirdo dude with the frosting is called Daryl the Donut. Very weird. And we're done now with uh, the Mean Munchies. Next box, we're going to start off with my favorite faction, my favorite squad, the Mean Greens. We got a couple of cacti. Pork you plant is green. Point less is the brownish color. Great little sculpt. Two dandelion critters. Dark green with the white bulb is a little sneezy. And light green with the yellow bulb is dan dandy crying. Not dandelion, but dandy crying. And there are a couple sculpts where more than one piece of plastic was required to be glued together. And this is one of them. And just something to point out. The cylinder on the base of the figure going into the top part, it, it doesn't go in in a certain way. So you'll see if you get a bunch of these, they're glued in with these little angles positioned differently. So it's not a... It doesn't have to go in a certain way. They just popped them in there and glued them. There's at least one other figure I'll point that out on too. We got two little potted plants. The green guy is called Stink Eye. And the pink one is called Flower Rot. A couple weird cyclop cycloptic plants. Now these guys don't even have eyes. I love this sculpt though. And here we are. The rest of the Mean Greens are going to have three versions each. This guy here is called Flower Glower. And it just, you know, just lets you know that the word glower and the word flower are written the same. Is it Flower Glower? Is it Flower Glower? Let's just say it's Flower. No, no, no. Let's say it's Flower Glower. And the red is Bleh Blossom. And this guy, black and white and bright green is Putrid petal. Now this is a great sculpt. I'd love to paint up some custom variants with a bunch of my duplicates. Could be interesting. This is my favorite sculpt in the whole series. A big eyeball inside a carnivorous plant. Very weird. Very scary. Three versions here. The green and pink with the blue pupil. Or the bu what is it? The iris? This is Venus Eye Trap. This guy in purple and green is Venus Eye Snap. And this guy is called Carnegore. I just love that sculpt. I could see myself painting. Some of my duplicates up, custom variants of that as well. All right, they put a mushroom in with the plants. What are you going to do? Well, we got three versions here. Purple with the yellow cap is called Fungi. 
brown with the green cap is called Funky McFungus. And yellow with the pink cap is Musha Gloom. Very cool. This is also a creative little idea. I don't think I've ever seen a character made out of a log that's positioned horizontally. So it's another psychoptic critter living in a log or made out of a log. Very weird. So this version here with the least amount of paint is called Log Jammer. This guy, I want to say he's the winterized version. He's got some snow up top. And this dude is called Stump Speech. And then this might be the spring version. With a nice little moss on top. And this guy is named Barkin Bites. Very weird. Very cool. And that concludes the Mean Greens. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Now check it out. Now we're going into the Clean Freaks. This is another cycloptic bar of soap. The pink soap is called Sour Suds. The yellow is called Dope Soap. A couple rubber rubber duckies for your bathroom. Rubber Chucky in yellow. And Up Chuck Duck in purple. And these are that nice plastic that's a little bit harder. Same with the Mean Greens. I like the plastic on both of these groups. This is Toothpaste. Alright, the guy, the gray guy is called Tooth Waste. And the yellow guy is called Waste Paste. Not very appropriate. We had toothpaste. Now we got tooth brushes. The pink one is called Tooth Flush. And the blue one, Plaque Attack. These guys are bars of deodorant. We get B-O-D-O with the blue on top. Bad Pits. Maybe a play on the word or the, a pun for Brad Pitt. I don't know. Bars of deodorant. These guys, I usually refer to them as rolls of paper towels because of their proportions, because of their dimensions. But they might actually be intended to be rolls of toilet paper. I think they should be a little less wide if you're going for toilet paper. Like all the other series, Trash Pack, Poo Crew, you know, Grocery Gang, um, Zuru Smashers. They had something that was not quite so elongated. But this guy is called Skid Roll. So definitely points toward toilet paper and smudgy. Very dirty roll. And oh my gosh, we're done with the clean freaks. We're now moving into the foul floaters. They are a much squishier plastic, though not as squishy as the squirm and vermin. And they do indeed float. I've tested examples from all the factions, and these are the only ones that float. So the plastic is, you know, regardless of how squishy it is, it is less dense. It floats. Even the squishy squirm and vermin, those dudes will sink. So if you're doing the little gimmick where you put the water in the toilets, you might be surprised. See these guys floating. The foul floaters. And most of these are very rare. Four of them are exclusive to the flushable playset. And various other ones are among the rarest figures in the whole set. Croco Bile is a crocodile with a bucket on his head. And his twin is... Chomp Bucket. Very cool. All right. These two are very rare. Bait in Twitch is the six-eyed bluefish. Brown Trout is the six-eyed redfish. Not sure why they named him Brown Trout. He's red. These guys are very cool. Catfish and Kitty Cast. This one really pops out. That white with the fluorescent orange. Now, Catfish was exclusive to the Flushable. He's a black cat. And both of these examples of the sculpt are wearing like maybe a fish costume. Or, you know, maybe they're a mutant. I'm going to say they're a mutant. There's no indication of hind legs underneath that. Half fish, half cat. Insane. 
Kitty Cast was the last one for me to find. Very rare figure. All right, we got Ooh Eel in the dark green. That's E W W E E L. And we got Electric Squeal in the yellowish green. Great little sculpt. We got two crustaceans. Raging Cajun is the red crab. And Raw Claw is the blue crab. He was also in that collectible exclusive. We got Bowl Fish. It's this big puffer. And Rougher Puffer is the purple one. Very cool. Two more fish. This is Hook and Mouth. You can see there is a hook in his mouth as the sculpt. And his brother is Gil T. G I L L dash T. Those scary little dudes. Now there's two more. One more sculpt in the last case. Foul floaters. All right, these guys are. I believe they're dolphins. In some of my unboxing videos, you can check. The Flush Force playlist, I probably caught them dolphins. No, that's what I just said. I probably caught them seals, but they got the dolphin tail. Anyway, in gray, this is Capt Finn. C-A-P-T dash F-I-N. And his brother, Flippy Blowhole, which I think is the absolute funniest name of any of these Flush Force figures. Captain Flippy Blowhole, and we now get to the Street Freaks. They are the nicest, firmest plastic, and they also have, as their little feature, metallic paint apps. All right, the yellow guy here is Audubon Ron, and this guy with the red, yellow, green is Fright Lights. I think that's an excellent concept. And a fantastic figure. This guy, I used to think he was a fan, like a desk fan. But he is like a manhole cover that you see on the street. A sewer drain cover. Okay? This guy that's blackish and red is called Fire in the Hole. And his twin is called Hand Hole Cover. You can see it's a, it's a creature coming up out the sewer, grabbing the manhole cover and pushing his cycloptic eye right through the center. Insane. These are those uh, coin collectors, parking meters. All right. So the dark one is called Money Python, which must be a pun, a play on the, the comedy troupe Monty Python. And then we get Snake, Rattle and Roll. And you can see it is a rattlesnake coming up through the pipe, pushing his uh, weirdo snake eyes. Out into the front of the meter. Imagine that. These guys, I think, are supposed to be porcupines that unfortunately got one-way signs stuck to their backs. All right. Purple is Road Rash. And the red is Burn Lane. All right. These little guys get the same issue the same affliction going on with some stop signs but this is dead stop and his buddy is called roach rage very cool very weird couple of trash cans in the street freaks thrash can is the black one with gold teeth and trash talker is the one this silver with the big pink tongue. These guys are both very rare. Danger Cone is orange. And Cone Dread is the yellowish one. This guy I only have like one other time besides the one you see here. And the last of the Street Freaks, we've got Horror Hydrant in red and Hideous Hydrant in yellow. 
These are fire hydrants with a little monster coming out the bottom. And this is one of those examples where the little feet could be glued in any number of positions. There's no consistency with how the feet are glued in. Finally, I've got four of the six putrid parts. These are the limited edition, ridiculously rare, translucent figures. This guy is the one I got first and also the only one I ever was able to find more than once. Check the Flush Force playlist. I show you the pack codes of how to find certain ones if you're still finding these anywhere at retail. Face Palm. He is a hand. You see the hand? He's a right hand with crazy teeth and a big old cyclops eye. All the unflushables come with a little plastic certificate. You have flushed an unflushable face palm. Only 2,000 available. The number is the same on each. And we're now going to go to foot and mouth. 2,000 available. Similar concept. He's a big old foot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hopping around with crazy teeth and a big cyclops eye. Very cool. This guy, I think, is very creative. He is called Wet Willy. He is also a hand, but he's a left hand. If you, if you hold it this way, it's like he's giving a peace sign. But really, it's more like this. Doo -doo 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 -doo, walking around. 2,000 available. And they are not numbered. It just, you know, all the certificates are going to look the same. But you see that little hand action with a big eyeball. Just sitting, big bloodshot eye just sitting right there at the top. All right, now I also got brain drain he's a big brain two eyes big brain time 200 IQ with little little insect looking feet propelling him also 2,000 available the ones I'm missing hit me up for them trades dank dentures he's teeth with that big cyclops eye and you can actually find I know for a fact you can find him in the eight pack with uh, let's see, what's Labradump, the two-headed light-colored dog showing in the pack. Find that eight-pack with Labradump and hit me up with those dank dentures. And the other guy is called Pink Eye. I don't know what kind of pack he comes in. My guess would be one of the five packs. And what's interesting about him, on the outside of the packaging material, they give him a different name. He's called Rotten Retina on those packs. But down here in the internal checklist, they call him Pink Eye. Well, guys, that's the set. That's what I got. That's all of them, except those two unflushables. That's the full base set, and I'm only missing two to get that chase set. Hopefully, one day, you can help me out, and we'll still get them. Let me show you this real quick. These are all my duplicates, thousands of them. I didn't necessarily have to buy this many to get the base set, but... Love, I love Flush Force. I put all my uh, Scuzzy Fuzzies separate bag to help minimize the damage to that flocking. I love the toy line. Wanted to support it. Wanted to see it, see it succeed. Never got Series 2 in my area. Hit me up for trades if you can uh, throw some Series 2 my way. We'll give you a nice independent individual shout out video. It'll be awesome. Thousands of duplicates. Loving this toy line. Wish it were continuing. Toy Insanity, Flush Force Friday. Thanks for that thumbs up. It means so much. It is very important indeed. There you go. There you go. Make that gray turn blue. Like, share, subscribe. And hit me up for them trades, man. You know the excess I got. And you know the two that I'm still looking for. So we can have that complete. Master said, have a great day. We out.